Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can build high performant AI agents. According to a report, a recent report by Gartner, you know, one of the world's best, uh, you know, I'll say organization uh, in thought leadership area, right? Uh, Gartner has published a report saying that 40% of agentic AI project will be canceled by end of 2027. Uh, you know, that might be right. You never know, right? Because of all the wrong things that, uh, people do when they work in agentic AI, uh, in the field of agentic AI rather, right? So we're going to talk about these things, how we can, uh, mitigate the challenges that we face while building enterprise or production grade AI agents. It's not that you use Langchain, Langgraph for crew AI and write a piece of code or use some entertain workflow and say you have built an AI agent. That's really good for building POCs. But when it comes to, uh, when it comes to deploying that in an enterprise, that's where the real challenge starts, right? So that's what we're going to do. Now, if you look at here on my screen, this is the, uh, press release by Gartner that says, Gartner predicts over 40% of agentic AI projects will be canceled by end of 2027. And that's really unfortunate because investors are putting so much of money, you know, in uh, agentic AI or AI agents. There's a difference between AI agents and agentic AI. If you want to understand that, you know, read this, uh, this research paper, AI agents versus agentic AI conceptual taxonomy applications and challenges. There's a difference because AI agents have set processes defined where you give them some instructions and then they follow it. Identity AI is a bit different where the word autonomy comes in picture, right? Where, you know, they take autonomy, they are accountable, they are responsible, they learn from the environment, surroundings, whatever you call it. In that case, it's not our surroundings that is the agent ecosystem that uh, they have, they will have multiple agents, right? Within an organization, uh, you know, you talk about it. So there are differences. So when you when you learn this, you will understand. But coming back to this particular press release by Gartner, okay. Uh, you know, you, I want to cover this up and how we can mitigate these challenges. For that, I have created this framework that's called AI Agent Success Framework. Uh, after doing a lot of study and research myself, that how we should, you know, approach when we are working for enterprise grade AI agents projects or any implementation of that sort. You know, if you are also interested to kind of read a little bit more because reading is really important rather than just doing crew AI length you know, or anything that anybody can do it in future, uh, you have to widen your, you know, perspective when it comes to approaching AI projects. For that, there is a very good book uh, by uh, of course, Kai Fu Lee, one of my favorite authors, it's called AI 2041, 10, 10 visions for our future. Read, read this book. This will open up your brain, the way we think, uh, and approach an AI project. This is completely based on story, storytelling, uh, this book and was recommended by one of my mentors. And, you know, I, I have read his previous book as well, the red color book, AI superpowers, right? So that one. But now AI 2041. So now coming back to this, that Gartner things. If you look at this, right, this highlighted thingy here, it says over 40% of agentic AI projects are due to escalating cost. Cost is the major factor. That's what Gartner is saying. And, you know, it says unclear business value. So cost, unclear business value. It means that they don't know that why should they use agentic AI you know, uh, in, in an enterprise setting, they don't know how to measure the success or ROI. Let's say if somebody invests million dollars, they will be thinking about it. The CFO will probably ask these questions, right? And those are really unclear. Just because, you know, investors have, investors have been pressurizing the board that they have to do something and so on and so forth. That's also a major factor. Inadequate risk control. So three things, cost, unclear business value and inadequate risk control. So risk management is the third thing that we should focus. Now, if you read this, 
we'll find out uh, you know few things over here not a lot of information to be honest but there are some numbers that that might surprise you but it's a very small uh, post you have to pub uh, reach out to these people or get some subscriptions to kind of go deep into it but this is how this is what the reality is and i have a presentation that i want to cover it and the framework that i will show you that how you can use that framework and of course you can add your own perspective because you will have your own learnings i have my learnings for last three years you know uh, in this generative ai space before that six seven years in ai and machine learning right so collectively seven eight years right eight years in this field and 99 percent of ai agents fail they don't go from poc to uh, production when i say production it doesn't mean that you only do ci cd and deploy it in a cloud that doesn't mean production only to be honest it means that whatever kpis have been set before starting into a production uh, before going that agent into a production there should be some set kpis that could not get delivered or could not you know achieved after the end of like let's say a time period 99% of them fail okay and how should you then build that 1% that actually works and that's where the this framework can can just show you a direction it will definitely i'm not selling here something that okay this will you know if you use this will be the best of the agents no it doesn't work like that it's really uh that really based on a lot of other things a lot of other variables come into play but yeah it will give you a very good starting point uh to to kind of mitigate these challenges most ai agent break in the real real world because we know it the only problem is the i'm not saying the only problem the most important problem is memory part of it agents right now cannot have long context memory if you watch my previous videos of ai agents or n and whatnot i have explained short context memory and long context memory okay agents are really good in having short context memory where you know if you have watched a movie in bollywood called gajni where, where amir khan was an actor he had that issue of short term memory loss that's what agent suffers right right now okay to be honest uh memory is really important so we we are trying to find out different ways when i say we the researchers the ecosystem is trying to find out the best way of implementing memories long context memory unified memory and so on and so forth that's the problem they due to that issue they go into infinite loops asking the redundant questions with each other let's say you have multi agent system so they are asking the same redundant questions and that increase the token cost and so on and so forth so indirect relationship with that right now token budget too is small to plan sometimes if you have thousands of users and you know if they are using it on daily basis where tokens are on high demand like where there is a uh, lot of users on the token side then that becomes a problem and no observability i think that's one of the major thing people don't use uh tools or they don't they are not focusing on building better observability tools that can help you monitor track reduce you know plan better right there are tools like agent ops phoenix or easy ai and what not there are a lot of other tools that you can use galileo for example right so there are tools that probably we can use right to look at a better observability uh, patterns that will help us make better decisions uh, while we are working on it so these are some of the problems uh, that we see right now i have covered that in uh, here also you can look at you can look at these tiny token budgets finance or infra teams cap context like they always put cap they say okay put a cap put a threshold i mean it doesn't work like that right you can't uh really work in that fashion i'm not saying that okay you also then make it completely uh open the floodgates not really but then you have that's where the observability comes up you should have a financial projection finops are really important when you're working in this field so i said no memory architecture blind spot evaluation people are not thinking about which evals to go with because there are a lot of evaluation metrics so these evaluation metrics also has to you know uh, be picked very carefully based on the problem statements and what kind of data you deal with okay so that's also important and then i have cargo cult architecture see mckinsey has created an agent mess 2 years back and enterprises and their leaders at enterprises say okay mckinsey has said two years back they are still relying on that hey look we have come from 2023 to 2025 things have changed the way we you know have been building solutions so don't believe in copy pasting agent mess architecture from mckinsey and gartners of the world which is like obsolete 
okay if it's cutting edge research new research then of course why not but not a lot so i created this no fail life cycle it's an sop that one should look at you know to do it but yeah and then i have architecture i have my perspective add-ons and common pitfalls so i created this entire framework that you can probably have a look uh you know you can see the, uh, the same detailed breakdown here no same thing that i have explained what makes a real agent tools memory policy policies and memories look at it right policies policies are also really important after memory tools are like fine because then you will have tools three things that agent requires i have explained in my previous videos not mandate few of them are optional but an llm model or a multimodal model or an ai model if you, what kind of agents you are talking about so models are really important then comes tools where we use tools or build custom tools tools can be anything even a calculator can be used as a tool by an agent or fetching a real world weather information can be a tool or a vector database can be used as a tool as well so tool can be any such things now memory as i said short term long term working set etc memory spot policies policies act as a nervous system and policies are really important llm is brain tools are hands and memory policies are our nervous system policies are important in enterprise because in the policies you can enforce policies on these agents one policy can be let's say based on uh, opa or rego rules where we are bringing up zero trust architecture you know for ai agent we make sure that agent follows such architecture so we are really secure when we are building it for enterprises so that is also really really important you know we have to and then we can create different types of policies and enforce them on different agents in a multi agent system so policies memories tools and models are of course anywhere there all of you know models of course you know uh, i'll just get rid of it you can see orchestrator api you can use anything you want doesn't matter uh, i'm not a big fan of orchestration frameworks it's they are all copied of i always say they're all copy paste from each other like agno pedantic uh, crew ai langchain etc okay and i rather credit more langchain because they were the first creators you know there was langchain and llama index came after that right after that it was like floodgate so uh, you have an orchestrator api uh, then there we have llm tools memory policies evaluator and telemetry layer a very high level architecture of three categories uh, three levels orchestrators and then your llm tools memory policies and then the baseline we have evaluators and telemetry layers for telematics now we have make sure that things we are selecting or building they are modular they are secure and they are flexible that's how we can scale you know identity solutions right so really important evaluations these are the minimal requirement they they can go deep dive that's what i've captured in this framework you know if you read the framework you can find out now in this one these are the metrics that you can track task success rate average token use error rate memory hits user satisfactions and then also do financial projections uh, on this or do a forecasting on all of this to be really prepared you know when it goes into production and people are using it so that's really also important right common pitfalls to avoid two small token budgets please don't do that you know poc is fine but you know in that uh, where you struggle fancy agent miss ideas with no grounding i think that's where a lot of enterprise leaders kind of struggle because they haven't built anything they learn from uh, different blocks until you implement that and really do trial and error experimentation it's very difficult to read from a blog and figure out something so don't go into fancy agent mess ideas uh, you know you have to ground stuff based on your use cases and a lot of other other variables like budgets and uses and what not memory design is really important you know, the way we design our memory don't only rely on a simple memory or a database kind of a thing very simple db where you store everything there are algorithms that you have to figure out also drift part of it people think that it's not a prediction prediction or a classification model so why should we worry about drift you have to see that because i have seen drifts you know uh, when we build agent also and no evaluation or alert so that's really important uh, to figure out what you get inside this framework you get sop life cycle checklist you'll get few sops uh, checklist we have uh, you know token planner sheets and etc so if you want this uh, framework find this in the video description and if you have your own 
ideas that you think that you can contribute to this framework reach out to me through uh, my social media channels find the information on channel banner and this video description right that's all guys you know i wanted to just bring up this perspective on gartner saying that this will happen and not only gartner we have seen a lot of failures myself when it comes to building agent based solutions they are good for like uh, in poc stage but when it comes to production that's where they struggle so if you have your own thoughts also let us know in the comment box that if you have seen something similar now if you like the video please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in near future that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one